Hi, this is Mark with Safe Day Trading. Are you interested in learning how to effectively trade the market for real-time profits? Do you want to supplement your income today or for your retirement? Discover how simple it is to make three to five hundred dollars a day when you have the Safe Day Trading dot system. I want to make it easy for you. Go to SafeDayPodcast.com. Register for the free ebook, Your Fundamental Truth to Making Consistent Money Day Trading. Also, free Safe Day Trading mini course. Learn the truth about trading safely and profitably. And free eavesdrop trading session. Listen to us, trade live, and make real money daily. Follow the dot and make a lot. Remember, it's all free. See you at safedaypodcast.com. All presenters and guests of Safe Day Trading Podcast opinions are their own and do not constitute financial advice in any way whatsoever. Nothing produced by Safe Day Trading Podcast constitutes an investment recommendation, nor should any data or content produced by Safe Day Trading Podcast be relied upon for investment activity. Safe Day Trading Podcast recommends that you perform your own independent research before making any financial decisions. Hey everybody, today is February 10th, 2023, and uh, first of all, let's cover a little bit about what happened today. Uh, Dow dropped down below 34,000, kind of really not much movement there. Uh, Natural gas is at $5, or $2.50, finally moving up. Gold is at 18.74, continuing to drop. Oil is at 79.72, was up around 80 this morning, uh, but then continued to drop. And let's see, silver is at about $22.10. So not much going on there. Tesla dropped $10 today. Um, NVIDIA dropped $10. Amazon. didn't drop at all. I mean, from you know opening until now, it only moved to 63 cents. The other important part of this is is a VIX is at 1217, um, so it's starting to move up a little bit. So it's good that we're starting to see some movement. It was pretty volatile today, or at least good enough to make some money at. Um, and you know, I think it's going to get better. Lots of naysayers out there right now. I'm not going to you know. I'm not going to pick and choose. I don't really care. It's going to be the uh, technical decisions as to what to get in and what to get out at. But one of the things I want to talk about today is on Fridays, um, if you're trading options, you'll notice that the option prices are pretty low and can continue to drop pretty quickly during the morning. Um, So you may have a Tesla stock. uh, you know, you may have a Tesla stock that doesn't move a lot, but the, val- or the value of the options continues to drop. Well, what I do is around 9.30 Central Standard Time is I move from this week's option table to next week's option table. I'll have the same call and put, um, but I move into next week's. Really, the, re- <clears throat> the reason I'm doing it is the volume. Um, if the volume continues to drop, on this week's options, and it usually does, uh, especially as you get closer and closer to the end of the day on Friday, uh, it's easier to start trading again on next week's option. Uh, key thing though is I want you to remember that um, if you're buying next week's option, you get out of it before the, uh, you know, as you close out at the end of the day or whenever you get out. Uh, you don't want to carry it over the weekend uh, because it'll continue to devalue itself. And uh, unless you pick the right place and let it, you know, it's either going to move up or move down large, uh, you know, your value of the option that you're going to come back in on Monday is going to be a lot less than the value of the option that you bought on Friday. So just kind of a heads up, you know, one of those things that I can speak from experience. <laughs> so. Anyway, uh, look at uh, going into that next week's option um, mid morning Friday or early Friday if you want. Uh, prices are going to be a little higher, you know, where 
an option on this week, maybe starting out at four or five dollars. Next week, it may be starting. At, you know, uh, this is on Friday. Maybe if it's at four or five dollars in the morning when it opens, uh, you know, the option for Monday might be anywhere between nine and twelve dollars. Okay, so just be aware of that. And also, like I said, I, I, I can't express it enough. If you're trading options for the next week, make sure you get out of it before you close down for the day. Anyway, have a nice day. Talk to you later. Hey everybody, I want to mention too that we have a YouTube site called Safe Day Trading, which we show you trades that we make with the techniques that we use. You can also send me questions that you might have at mark at safedaytrading.org. Anyway, talk to you later.